Hi everyone, Sebastian Viteri here from Hill and Viteri Property with our latest weekly market snapshot. Now, what I wanted to cover with you today is the question that I've been getting asked the most, which is how long will the current drive in prices continue to go for? Now, supply and demand dynamics continue to change. Uh, we are noticing that the rate of stock coming on is double, actually triple than what it usually is, um, but double the amount is coming on as to what is selling. So what we can see in the coming months is potentially that prices should start to slow or plateau. I certainly can't see things going backwards, but if that factor alone changes, there'll be less competition for each individual property and therefore the prices won't drive as high. The main issue that I'm seeing now really is affordability. Uh, buyers are being priced out. Uh, some are looking to more affordable areas or locations. Uh, some are just putting their purchases on hold. Now, the jobless rate is falling, but wages growth at the moment remains at record lows. Now, the reason I look at this is that if buyers are going back to the bank to try and borrow more money to pay more for a property that's going for auction, say they go back and want another 50,000, well, there's no um, additional wage growth or no additional service capability for them to be able to do that. So I also see that being a factor as the price is stopping to grow once they kind of hit that threshold. So looking over this, for the short term, uh, I can't see much changing. It appears that the prices will continue on this run. Um, and it's no coincidence that the property boom parallels low interest rates and presently we have uh, record low or historically record low interest rates. So let me know your thoughts on this one. What do you think the market will do? Do you think prices will continue to grow or do you think that there'll be a, uh, a blip on the radar coming where they'll see prices come backward? I look forward to seeing you next week.